This demonstration is to show you how to perform a gram stain. You start with the slide that you've added your specimen to and you've heat fixed. Place it on the rack which is held underneath the tray. You'll need four reagents when doing a gram stain. The crystal violet, the Graham's iodine, ethanol, and safranin. Start by taking the crystal violet, add several drops to the smear. It's okay to take the dropper and touch the slide and spread it around so the area is completely covered. Allow the crystal violet to remain on the slide for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, using the deionized water in the squirt bottle, tilt the slide over the tray and rinse the slide. The second reagent is your Graham's iodine. You're going to allow the Graham's iodine to remain on the slide for 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, tilt the slide and rinse with the deionized water. The third reagent is the ethanol, and this is the most critical step. It's not a timed procedure, nor do you add a certain volume of the ethanol. Start by taking a dropper full of the ethanol, hold the slide above the tray, add the drops of ethanol slowly to the smear, allowing the drops to gently roll over the smear. While you're doing that, you're watching the drops that are draining from the edge of the slide. You want the drops to be a very light purple color. This is the most critical step because if you add too much ethanol, you over decolorize, and if you don't add enough, you under decolorize. And that's fine. Rinse with water. And then the fourth and final reagent, add several drops of the red dye to the smear and allow it to stay on the slide for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, tilt the slide over the tray, rinse with deionized water, place the slide on paper toweling, take your bibulous paper and gently blot dry. You rinse after every reagent that you add, you blot dry at the end. You're now ready to focus on this prepared slide as was demonstrated before. Remember, you start by focusing the slide under your scanning power lens. Make sure the light from the illuminator is at its maximum intensity, so open up the diaphragm. Get it in focus under scan. Then you move to low and high power. Move the high power lens slightly out of focus. You'll be adding a drop of microscope oil to the slide. Move the oil immersion lens in place so it's touching the oil and get the slide in focus. Don't forget, when you're done using your oil immersion lens for the class period, clean the lens with acetone.